Hello again, this is Jerry. Welcome to another JavaScript lesson. As your instructor, I will show you how to get the number of clicks of an element. To begin, we will need an element. We will use the div element um, for the user to be able to click on that div element. And each time that user clicks on that div element, the count the there will be a click count that would keeps um, that would increase or add by one and I will have in inside that div I will show as the user keeps as the user is able to click on that div we will see the num you will, we will see numbers um start to increase you know, or, or add up by one and so and the first thing we would need okay so inside the script tag we need to set a variable set this name this which name is click and when we set that variable we'll initialize where we want to start and set that to zero then we need a function, and that function will be part of the click um, the div element, mm -hmm. and we will name this function click counter curlies right curly braces. Um, then we need to update the the ver the click variable, and by that and by doing this, we s we type in click and set that equal to the current uh, click variable value, which is zero. That's like we have here. For this is zero. Um, plus one, and also. This can be re, uh, typed as put a comment here. Uh, click plus plus, and there's also uh, click minus minus for decrementing or you know, so, you know. But plus plus, we're just increasing. Using the plus plus says that it's uh, increasing by one, and only and then we also have click see plus equal one semicolon and it's, and that's also equivalent to click plus plus or click click plus one you can use either 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 of the three um they all work the same but the click plus plus is only can only increment by one but when you use uh, this um, this ass assignment statement you can change the the val the increment uh, uh, number change you know, to any number you want like three four and so on in this case we just want one and as, as well as um this statement right here you can change it to one two three and so on so now we're just going to test the first one and then we're going to test the others as well once we open up the web page so next for the div, we need to style our div inside the style uh, style sheet. We set that uh, the div selector um, div um, tags uh, elements officially name is element selector. Um, you know, you just um, typed out the tags name, and then with semi. Uh, 
curly braces. And inside the curly braces, we have a series of properties, CSS properties, and, and, and their values. And it goes like, I'll set div width to 500 pixels, height 500 pixels, then I give this a background color, green, and I would like to center it, which is the text align center property. Then, okay, then we head over to the body. Inside the body tag, we will need, hmm, yeah, inside the body tag, we had a div, like we said, and then we use the on click uh, event JavaScript event attribute and set that equal to the the function's uh, name click counter um, then I want something called the span element which um, gets which will um, get which will display the numbers and give this an ID selector uh, value let's call this name any ID uh, count let's call this count and close the span and the div then let's see what we missing here um then we want um, oh span to style get the span element font size I want it bigger uh, font size to be to 270 point font which you know I pretty much played with um, to see how, how big it would be and um, let's see and then oh we go back to our function we need to yeah this be able to display um, so that span the, the span element will be able to get the content or value um, so by doing this I'll, I'll use the document object a document yes document dot get element by ID object um, element object and give this and that ID here we use it we call this count and that's where we want the content to be displayed dot used I'm gonna use something called the inner HTML property set that equal to that click variable semicolon where we have here where it's outside of the function so each time the user clicks on the div element the click variable increases by one and it keeps going up by one and and outside and note that when you declare a variable outside of the function it's a global variable so so each time it you click on that function it, it um, changes the value of that global variable and so yeah so got everything let's go ahead and save it then okay we need to uh, run it launch it in Chrome okay yeah so here one we click two three four five so it and on and on so we know now we go back to the code to test the other statements we just comment this one out 
and then um, we're going to use the clip plus plus and close this out comment this out so go ahead and save then okay go ahead and go back to our browser F5 or click that refresh button and go ahead and click one two three four five six seven and so on now let's go back comment this out and use the last one the click plus equal to one semicolon save um, okay let's go back to our browser refresh click one two three four five and so on as we know it works so you know this you know you can change the values let's say bump up by three you know just to play around with it refresh three six nine twelve so on you know it works so this um, concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. We have completed our lesson. You are welcome to subscribe, comment, and share. You may go to the discussion area for the requests about any web programming lessons or projects you would like me to show you.